Hello everyone, what's going on? It is M10 here. Welcome back to another Terraria tutorial and in this video I'm going to be going over the luck mechanic which has been added as a game feature in Terraria 1.4. Now this is quite a complicated mechanic and a lot of players still don't really understand how it works and that that was me included up until I decided to make this video. So I did some research to try and find out how the mechanic works and wanted to share that with you all here. So luck is a mechanic that increases or decreases the probability of a random event, including a rare event or item drop from occurring. So according to the wiki, some of the randomly chosen items and events include NPCs first appearances like the goblin tinkerer and wizard, fairy spawns and rarer traveling merchant inventory items. So you can increase or decrease your luck based on several different premises, including torches, buffs, and various other things that I'm going to go through in this video and show you all how to get the most luck. So I'm going to go through a list of items that on the wiki it says are affected by luck. This includes all material drops such as ichor, crates, oysters, and other grab bags are not affected by luck, while fishing positive luck gives a 100% luck chance of silently multiplying your fishing power by a random number between 110 and 140%, but inversely, negative luck gives you a minus 100% chance of silently multiplying your fishing power by a random number between 60 and 90%. Actual fishing rewards are not influenced by luck beyond fishing power. All rare item drops such as the Ancient Horn or Slimy Saddle are affected by luck. Chances of items appearing in the Travelling Merchant Inventory. The player with the highest luck will be chosen to influence the inventory on multiplayer. The chances of coin portals appearing from pots. Gold critters spawning. Chance of a dungeon spirit spawning to get ectoplasm. Chances of enemies dropping hearts and mana stars. Chances of some event enemies dropping more than one heart. Chances of food dropping from enemies, such as hot dogs, cookies, etc, etc. Chances of finding underground NPCs, such as the Bound Wizard and Goblin. Chances of enchanted night crawlers spawning during a meteor shower. Chances of a hard mode dungeon enemy spawning on the wrong wall type, for example a skeleton commando spawning on the slab wall. Chances of a dungeon slime spawning so you can get more golden keys. Chances of fairies spawning underground. Chances of gnome spawning whilst the player is in a living tree or in front of unsafe dirt wall. Chance of bone mimic spawning, Dr. Bone spawning, ice golem, and pinky spawning as well. It says that damage calculations in many situations are influenced by luck. Positive luck will be favorable to the player. So player weapons also take luck into account and enemy melee damage also takes luck into account. So you can increase your damage with having increased luck from the looks of it and it's up to a 5% increase or decrease in average damage dealt before defense. Players with a higher luck have better coin drop rates the same way as damage for around a 15% increase slash decrease at 100% good bad luck. So boss drops that have a set chance to drop will not increase or decrease based on luck. For example you will not, uh, the, the four wall of flesh weapons that drop will not have an increased chance uh, of being dropped with more luck. You will only still get one of those items. Alrighty, so you're probably thinking, how do I increase my luck? And we're gonna start with ladybugs. Ladybugs are a critter that will spawn in the windy day event during the forest during the day. And you, are either going to want to capture these in a bug net or interact with them uh, if a, according to the wiki if a player touches a naturally spawning ladybug with intersecting hitboxes that has not been released by a player they will receive good ladybug luck for 12 minutes this duration is doubled for golden ladybugs so a regular ladybug will increase your luck stat by 0.2 and a golden ladybug will increase your luck stat by 0.4 however if you kill a ladybug and that includes using it as bait a ladybug has 17% bait power but do not use it as bait anyway if you kill that ladybug 
it will decrease your luck stat by negative 0.2 or negative 0.4 for golden ladybugs. So please keep that in mind. So the buff will decrease linearly over time and that's why golden ladybugs have a double uh, doubled increase luck time. So from when you just interact with the ladybug, it's 0.2, but by the time you reach the end of that two minutes, the luck stat has been slowly drained down to zero. And it works in the opposite way with the increase. Now, ladybugs are used as a material in crafting luck potions. So there are three different types of luck potions, the lesser luck potion, the regular luck potion, and the greater luck potion. And you craft these with a water bottle, a water leaf, a ladybug, and a pearl, and each respective type of pearl, which increases in rarity, will give you a more powerful potion. So as you can see, I'm going to open up a whole bunch of oysters now. Oysters drop from Oasis Biome Fishing. You can, you can fish them up. And as you can see, the white pearl is the most common. The black pearl is rarer, but not incredibly rare. And the pink pearl, well, you can see I opened 99 oysters and still didn't get a pink pearl. So they are quite rare. So the lucky buff is also more powerful the longer it is active for. So with a lesser lucky potion, it's only there for three minutes and will increase your luck by 0.1. Whereas if there's greater than th uh, three minutes left with a regular luck potion, the increase of luck is 0.2. Meanwhile, if there is greater than five minutes left using the greater luck potion, then you will have a luck stat of plus 0.3. Moving on to the next thing that will increase your luck, and that is Lantern Knights. Now, Lantern Knights are a rare event, sort of, that will occur every time you defeat a boss for the first time in Terraria, or an event. So, the night before this, I defeated Skeletron, which you saw the footage of earlier, and so I sped up the time and got to this night, and it allowed lanterns to spawn. So, the special part of this night is that you have an increased luck stat. Also, something to note is that lantern nights will randomly occur rarely after the Moon Lord is defeated. And as you can see just then, I managed to get two fairies to spawn, and I believe this is because they had an increased chance to spawn from the Lantern Knight. Okay, so up next we have Torch Luck. Now, originally in Terraria 1.4.0.1, there was the ability of bad Torch Luck. And what that meant is if you put the wrong torch in a specific biome, it would decrease your luck by 0.2. Now that's been removed and there is only good torch luck. So how that works is you have to place the right torch for the biome and then when you are hanging out in that area, for example placing ice torches in the ice biome or desert torches in the desert biome, it will increase your luck by a flat rate of 0.2. However, you may not want to be carrying around all these different types of torches in your inventory, so in Terraria 1.4.0.5, which was released a couple days ago, the devs created a solution for that, and that was the Torch God's Favor. Now, I did a full guide on this and the new Torch God mini boss event thing earlier yesterday, so I will leave a link to that in the description if you want to check that out, but I will be covering the Torch God's Favor, which is an item dropped from this event. And what it does is it's a consumable item, and when you consume it, you will see a little icon appear at the top left of your screen, which allows Biome Torch to be swapped on or off. Now, when you have Biome Torch swap on, it means that all of the regular torches in your inventory will automatically place as Biome Torches based on whichever biome you're in. So you can see from this footage here that I'm in the Hallow Biome, so I place Hallow Torches, I move to the Ice Biome, where I place ice torches, and then as I enter the crimson, I will place crimson torches. Something to note is that the crimson and hallow will overrun whatever other biome you are in, in regards to torches. Okay, so the final thing that increases luck in Terraria is garden gnomes, and these are replaceable arena buff sort of thing. 
they will give you a flat rate of 0.2 increased luck whenever placed and they have a decent range similar to a banner so you're probably wondering how do i get these well you get garden gnomes from luring a gnome enemy into sunlight gnomes will spawn in the surface underground layer and when they hit sunlight they will transform into a stone garden gnome and that's how you get this item so how can you tell what your player's luck stat is because there's no on-screen buff for it and you can work it out by visiting the wizard npc and sometimes he will give you a quote which will give you a vague gauge of what level your luck stat is at so i just drank a luck potion and the wizard is quoting there's something unusually warm about you i'm not sure how to place it but keep walking in that direction and it means that my luck is greater than zero but less than 0.25 so i'll leave a link to the wiki page down below so you can check out all of the dialogue meanings so finally how does all of this stuff impact the player well it's a bit difficult to explain but according to the wiki if the player's luck stat is greater than zero then there is a 100 percent chance that their luck will be increased and as an example if the base probability of an event is 10%, then if the player's luck is 0.1, there is a 100% chance that the probability will become something in between 1 in 5 and 1 in 9 as far as drop chance or an event occurring goes, leading to an average final probability of approximately 15%. Or for example, if something has a 1 in 4 drop chance, so 25% chance to drop, it will increase to a 37.5% chance to drop if the player's luck is 1.0. Now with all that being said, the player's luck will very rarely be 1.0, but you can use these things to your advantage. If you are farming underground, you may want to, I don't know, find a ladybug beforehand or um, use a luck potion or place a gnome and stuff like that that'll just generally increase your luck. And the same goes for players with negative luck from killing ladybugs. If something has a 10% drop chance and the player's luck is at its lowest point, which is negative 0.4, there is a 40% chance that the probability will be decreased, leading to an average final probability of about 8.8%. So it doesn't affect the drop rate that much, but, you know, make the most of using luck in your playthroughs if you want to anyway that's all i have to say from this video if you made it to the end i really hope you enjoyed and let me know in the comment section down below by typing torch luck so that way i know you've made it to the end of the video anyway if you want to see more videos like this and you've learned something and you would like to see more please smash that like button hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more videos coming soon. Leave a comment down below if I've made a mistake or if you want to ask a question. Other than that, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much, everyone.